Hey guys, today we are going to see an artistic endgame. This one is great, it's one of my favorite. This is the position and it is way to move. We are going to pass on the board the main line as we calculate some small variations, just like an exercise. The first move is going to be rook a5. After this, black can move the king like in four squares over here and also black can block with the pawn those are the options if king c4 you will have checkmate in one move in some different ways you can play bishop b3 or just b3 or even bishop e2 the other option could be king c6 but it's also very simple you will have bishop a4 and you will take the queen Black can also play king e6, but then you have bishop g4, and you take the queen too. And the last move with the king is going to be king e4, but then you have a, an amazing move. Try to find it, it is white to move, and white is winning. This is not so easy as the other ones. The move is going to be rook f5, threatening checkmate with bishop c2. If king takes rook, bishop g4, and you take the queen. And instead of king takes rook, if queen takes rook, then you will have bishop c2, and you take the queen. There is no any other way for black to stop this checkmate idea. Um, we are going to do the next section with this line, and we are going to see it on the board because it's really special. After king e4, as I said, rook f5. If king takes, bishop b4, and if queen takes, bishop c2 always taking the queen so we're going to to continue with the main line it's going to be b5 now we have another fantastic idea it's going to be rook takes b5 again if king e4 you will have rook f5 with the same idea if king e6 you have bishop e4 taking the queen. If king c6 you will have uh, bishop a4 is very strong because you're going to move the rook and then you will give a check, uh, a discovery check and you will take the queen and there's no way for black to stop that. So the main line goes with queen takes b5 and after that we finish the end game with another amazing idea it is going to be c4 if queen takes then bishop b3 and you're going to take the queen and if king takes then you have bishop e2 and you take the queen too so this move is winning attracting the king or the queen in in both lines after the exchange, you're going to win the pawn endgame. Thank you for watching. See you soon.